Good evening. No, it's not good evening. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I hope you're having a good day. So we've heard of motion detectors, you know, cameras that have, you know, motion detection built in because you don't want people um, sneaking up on you or anything like that. So they have these motion detectors, just like um, the gaming the gaming cameras for people when they when hunting season comes along you have cameras that um, detects motions and takes pictures and wherever you're at in buildings at times too like this right here this is a motion detector motion detection sensor okay cameras like that they can see everything so we've heard of those and you know how it like can track your every move but what about um these type of sensors within websites that you go to really what about those type um, and perhaps you may not have heard of them before you may not have hello and uh, thank you for um, joining uh, in this chat right here this may not be a popular topic but um, it uh, uh, how'd that happen I I promise you I did not you all I did not touch that button at all. Okay, I didn't. And that screen literally flipped over to your screen. I did not touch it. I didn't. All I was talking about is motion detection and then boom, that button. So I didn't even push the button. So that's a little, um, it's a little bit scary. Um, so yeah, if you're just tuning in, whoopsie, Gina, now that's me. If you're just tuning in, let me um, do this. I can put it right here. You can see we got one person. We got Annie on here, you all. They don't really have too many people that get in the chats. They don't. Uh, now we got Apple Brooks coming in on the chat. So, yeah, I think there was a little bit of motion detection uh, with this website. It's like um, websites. They track cookies. They do. You know how you have the option, delete your cookies, delete all history so you can't be tracked, okay? And I do it because I don't I don't want to get, you know, my data when I'm on the Internet and stuff. I don't want to have it going who knows where. So we think that if we delete the cookies and stuff that that's that's going to be all we need. Hello. But I, I don't I don't think it's so I don't I don't think it's so you all. So. um, So look at this. Um, why are websites requesting access to motion sensors? I've not heard of this before. I haven't. Any requests to use those sensors or even check to see if a device supports them would probably cause the sensor icon to show up like it does, just like the sensor examples. Um, let's see. I, I, I'm, I'm going to see what this person is talking about. Why are websites requesting access to motion sensors on my desktop? I've never heard of this before, you all. So what are APIs, geolocation APIs, notification APIs, sensors API? I've never heard of this sensors. Okay. I don't leave my geo, I don't turn on my um, geolocation. Uh, and I don't, I rarely turn on my notifications. Okay. But the sensors, this is the first time I've heard about sensors like motion sensors. Okay. That's really um, interesting, you all, if you're just tuning in. And thank you. Um, so, deobfuscating, it leads to code. Okay, let's see. So, I was checking the status of a FedEx order in Brave when I noticed a notification in the address bar that I have never seen before. Um, it was warning me that this site has been blocked from accessing your motion sensors. So, we can see this right here, you all. This person was ad accessing FedEx and it said this site has been blocked from accessing your motion sensors. What? It doesn't even need to be an order status. Their home page kicks it up too. So this person says, I'm struggling to understand why a website need needs access to a motion sensor on a mobile device, let alone the fact that I was using a desktop. Do I get a different experience if I knock my PC off the desk, tip the monitor on its side, or grab the mouse cord and spin it around my head really fast? <laughs> you want that be, that's kind of funny. 
So this website, it, it is true, you all. It's so true. Let me let me let me do this, you all. So that uh, motion sensors. So that motion sensor literally, it can detect. If you're on your phone, if you're on your mobile phone like this, it can uh, detect when you tilt your phone. Anything you do with your phone, if you turn it upside down, uh, you, I'm, I'm sure it can look back at you. It can look through your phone, too. This is a very heavy phone. This um, this iPhone, I didn't ever activate it yet. But, yeah, it, it, it literally senses every single movement. And also, every time your hand touches this screen right here, boom, they got your fingerprint. You say, well, I've never had my fingerprints done yes you have if, if you own a phone if you own a phone and your finger has a touch screen going on it honey they got your fingerprint and if you use your thumb they got your thumbprint any fingers you use or if you like go like this uh, and you pause they got your fingerprint okay they got it they don't need the ink you all they don't need the ink they don't need it it's like yeah so um i won't spend too much time on it you all in fact, you may want to look up uh, things like that yourself, too. Let me put this phone back over here. I still need to do something about that phone. So, um, so look, grab the mouse cord and spin it around my head. So, look at this. So, sensors blocked. This site has been blocked from accessing your motion sensors. I really didn't know we had any. I didn't. If you're just tuning in, did you know you had some? Um, yeah. Because um, I haven't heard of it. Yeah. So let's let's look at this you all. Um I'm getting tracked I'm getting sidetracked in these comments. Okay, I am. Okay. Yeah. So let me let me look at this. I'm not going to look at the comments cuz they're very distracting. A few cursory, after a few cursory online searches, I'm coming up with a little other than a few threads on Reddit and Brave that indicate that people are also seeing on Kayo Sports and Twitch as well as Experian and Tutanota. Guess it's time to dig a little deeper. It's time to dig a little deeper. So what are web APIs? Before zeroing in on sensors, let's back up a second and talk about web design and web APIs. Um, it's your browser has access to a lot of data wet, wet, via the metadata regarding the device you installed it on. Installed it on. As much as some of the websites that you visit, you would love to have access to all that data. Any decent browser will act as a firewall, blocking that access by default and prompting you to allow it. Um, so they have geolocation API. You also this API. Um, let me let me type in what API is. What what is uh, API? Ac acro. NIM. Um, application Programming Interface. Okay, now we know what API is. That's the abbreviation for Application Programming Interface. It is software that is intermediary, intermediary that allows two applications to talk to each other. And each time you use an app like Facebook or send an instant message or check the weather on your phone, you're using an API. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for telling us what an API is. So the it's two sim systems talking back to one another, and it could be a whole bunch of systems talking back to one another. It really can. Um, so we've got that. Let me let's get back to where we were, you all. So let's get back to where we were. Beam me up, Scotty. Um, no, you, we don't want to get beamed up right now. We don't. So one of the more common APIs uh, is used to request your location usually when you're using websites for store locator to find the nearest store the button uses code lightly modified from MDN's geolocation API docs and when you click it the JavaScript code executes a call to a navigator and a geolocation asking the browser for your location have you all noticed a lot 
of updates have been coming in for JavaScript because I've been seeing a lot. In fact, that is the main thing I see popping up on my desktop is JavaScript, a update for Java. Okay, that is it's like a programming language. But who who is the programmer? Is it AI? Yeah. Um, that's what I'm wondering. Mm hmm So let's look at this. So you do this. You, you want to show your location. So they're tracking you right there. Oopsie. I shrunk that down, you all. So they're tracking it right there. So your browser will prompt you to allow access, which you can deny with your privacy. But if you want to find somewhere and you're using a paper map, um, well, you'll turn it off. But if you don't have no way to get somewhere, you're going to turn on that, and they're going to watch you go down that road. Okay. If you don't see the prompt, but you think that you have allowed it, there's two different settings that can show access to it. In, in Google Chrome, you just replace Brave with Chrome in the address bar. Okay, the address bar. Y'all, let me put this here so you all can have this. I don't even, I've never been to this before. I don't know really much of what I'm looking at, but I'm sharing it. I am. Yeah. So Notification API, another unfortunately very popular API is one used to display notifications to visitors. Using um, this, you can request re permission from a visitor with a call, notification request permission, and then just create a new notification. Okay, notify me. Okay, that's Facebook. If you ever went to the Facebook, if you ever went to the marketplace and you're looking for a certain item, you can click the notify me and boom, that API that is going to kick in and when you, it sees what you want, it's going to let you know. It is. I've never heard of Brave Snowstorm. I, I wouldn't, I couldn't tell you what Brave is. What is Brave? B-R-A-V-E. So Brave is a web browser. Okay, I learned something new. It's a web browser. Thank you. That's great. Brave is a web browser. So there's really many web browsers. Um, but I, I would say that not all uh, are as safe as we think that, oopsie, as safe as we think they are. But that's okay. That's all right, you all. Susan, honey, now we have heard of it. So there's a new, there's a maybe sort of new API right here requesting access to sensors in chromium-based chromium. Why did I say chromium? Chromium-based browsers, GAX. I've never heard of GAX. It puts it at Chrome 75, um, Chrome 67, and May, May 9. Where did these numbers come from, you all? Uh, it's not widely supported. Okay, so check out the MDN docs. Um, so the following links execute JavaScript code. JavaScript. Um, try starting up various sensors, which should trigger the sensor icon in the address bar. So let's see. Your status messenger. So why are sites using sensors? That's what we want to know. Please let us know why sites are using sensors. This person has went into great detail. And I'm not very technical. I'm not, but it's okay. It is. It's really, that's all right. So I've seen the sensor request on several sites, and others have reported more. FedEx, Lowe's, KO, Sports, Hotel.com, Anthem, Pizza Hut, to name a few. Why would sites as varied as those need to access a gyroscope or an accelerator? meter accelerometer I can't say that again right uh, something like that like all modern development websites are built upon layers and layers of libraries um, are they using the same one is some library several layers deep requesting access to an API that it doesn't need that's a thought you are an API that it doesn't need so it's like a um, like an elevator, how it keeps going up to different levels, okay? And it's really like people in in a in a company. You have like you have just a regular worker, then you have like a um, supervisor, then you have like a manager, 
then you have like a um, I don't know uh, whatever a CEO or somebody up ahead of them see the the one at the top you don't need to know everything the one at the top needs to know but if um, you're down here requesting information and this API sensor is giving it to you that's kind of scary because you know what are you going to do with that information because it should be like on a need-to-know basis and this seems like this is what is, is happening any layer something within any of those layers is requesting information sensors on you and you don't know who it is you really don't I don't think you would know who it is um, I think I've figured it out but if you find something to the contrary do share and obfuscated file from Akamai all the pages I've checked out have a reference to an obfuscated file that when removed makes motion sensor icon go away the name is a 112 bit random value that offers no clues but differs from each site so it probably doubles as a unique identifier to an account ID I don't even know what I'm looking at you all. I have to be honest with you. I have no idea what this stuff is. A lookup of the mark for the pages show it loads the script right before the end of the page. Ah, <gasps> oh, it loads a script right before the end of the page closes. This is Lowe's script right here. JavaScript is really um, big look at that FedEx so are these their sensors anthem hotels they're tracking everything since four of the five sites included a call to a URL with AKAM 11 pixel in it immediately prior I assume it's all related possibly some kind of tracking pixel one of the reason your email providers blocks images by default um, turns up loads of other sites that all cause the sensor icon to display so um, look at this so some of the entries sound suspicious there's loads of references to various plugins and no short shortage of references to sensors gyroscope magnetometer acceler accelerated meter I don't know gravity ambient amp uh oh look at this you all this is uh, this right here they got this right here an ambient light sensor when I see that word I think of a living being I really do I think an ambient light sensor sounds like a living being we got to look at it I want to want to know what a first I'm going to take the I'm going to take off the light sensor I'm going to I'm going to just look for the word ambient okay it's uh, existing it's existing or present on all sides it's encompassing define ambient ambient synonyms ambient pronunciation ambient translation surrounding and circling ambient sound ambient air um, temperature display 20 percent ambient let's do ambient um, aliens Gina why are you talking about aliens because I want to know if there's such thing as an ambient alien you I do I want to know if, if there's something like an ambient alien I really do I'm so I'm trying to make this page go bigger tracking mobile web users through motion sensors attacks and I'll let you all see that right there you can check that out right there Susan honey I can't go down that rabbit hole no I, it's already got me distracted I've already been on here for 32 minutes and I got distracted I can't look at the comments I really can't because they're too distracting for me um, they really are they distract me a lot uh, at times you all at times 
So smartphones contain motion sensors such as acceler accelerometers and gyroscopes. These sensors have many useful applications, but they can also be used to uniquely identify a phone by measuring the anomalies in the signals, which are a result of manufacturing imperfections. I don't think they're a result of manufacturing imperfections. I think it maybe they knew exactly. Such measurements can be conducted serotypously uh, by web page publishers or advertisers and can thus be used to track users across applications, websites, and visits. Look what they do. They analyze, let's look at this. We analyze how well sensor fingerprinting works under real world constraints. We develop a highly accurate fingerprinting mechanism that combines multiple motion centers, sensors and makes use of inaudible audio simulate, stimulation to improve the detection. We evaluate mechanism using measurements from a very large collection of smartphones in both labs and public conditions. We then analyze techniques to mitigate sensor fingerprinting either by collaborating the sensors to eliminate the signal anomalies or by adding noise that ob obfuscates the anomalies. We evaluate the impact of calibration and obfuscation techniques on the classifier accuracy. We also look at how much mitigation techniques impact the utility of the motion sensors. So they got these motion sensors about your fingerprint. What if you all really, now let's think about this. These cell phones have plasma in them. Okay. And what if they're tracking how that plasma reacts with each movement that is made on, that, on your cell phones? What if they do that? They could. Um, smartphones are equipped with motion sensors such as all of that you are. Um, look, so the sensor fingerprint can be used to supplement other privacy invasive tracking technologies such as cookies, canvas fingerprinting. Uh, since the fingerprint relies on the physical characteristics of a particular device, it is immune to defenses such as clearing cookies and private browsing modes. Um, what if on the inside of these um, cell phones, it's because you know they got they got a memory. They got memories. Plasma, it's it's got a memory. It does. It can uh, remember things. So what if, what if every time you touch in your screen like this, every everything you do on it like that, even though um, you try to erase the cookies and stuff like that, what if every time you try to erase the cookies, you think you erase them, but you can't because the plasma that twirls around inside of the phone, it's storing it. Okay, it's storing it inside. Okay, what if, what if, what if that, what if plasma works like that? It, um, it's got an unforgettable memory. It could, because plasma is used in everything nowadays. It really is. And, uh, just think that plasma, it could probably, Probably if it wants to, it can replicate your fingerprint and stuff too. Probably could. Um, yeah, that's uh, interesting with that. You can't get rid of it with just cookies and things like that. You all, I don't know what to do with this phone is so heavy right here. And I just don't know about it. I really don't. Yeah, I'm probably going to go, you all, but there are motion sensors on websites that you visit. And um, you've seen this PDF. I just put it in there. You all can look it up yourself. Fingerprinting backgrounds. 
you got your background your fingerprint is being fingerprinted look at this fixed electrodes inside your phone you got all this looks like a heat sink oh wow they do average deviation schooness spectral centroid spectral spread spectral attack time spectral attack slope it's got a lot of stuff if you know how to read this oh they're talking about the types of phones if you got an apple iphone 5 5s samsung galaxy android ios 8 um they uh collecting the data off the cell phones for some reason yeah we're gonna go through here and look at that fingerprinting col collaborated data why do you need to do that really collaborate the data from the fingerprint and the tilt of the phone and everything about it that sounds like forensic it sounds like forensics is what it sounds like it really does that's deep uh -oh. the impact of white noise on a utility given that we see adding white noise provides low F scores we wanted to see what kind of impact it would have on a sensor utility so whatever this white noise is so they want to have countermeasure techniques okay countermeasure techniques okay I thought this said lamentations because of the oh it's like the book of lamentations you all yeah, I'm just gonna read the conclusion in this paper we show that motion sensors such as accelerometer accelerometers and gyroscopes can be used to uniquely identify smartphones the more concerning matter is that these sensors can serotypically accessed by a web page publisher without the user's awareness we also show that injecting audio stimulation in the background improves detection rate as sensors like gyroscopes react to acoustic stimulation uniquely our countermeasure techniques however mitigate such threats by obfuscating anomalies in sensor data we were able to significantly reduce fingerprinting accuracy accuracy by employing simple yet effective obfuscation techniques as a general conclusion we suggest using our obfuscation techniques in the absence of explicit user permission awareness so they don't want they want to reduce fingerprinting accuracy they don't want your fingerprinting to be tracking you they don't want you to be tracked is that what they said more or less by whatever is tracking you it could be it could be you all um, yeah it could be that so that's really uh, interesting hmm yeah see you all can look at that if this interests you I probably won't look at it anymore I probably won't uh, at all look look the accessing uh, to access motion sensors the device motion class needs to be initialized a sample job JavaScript Windows device motion event undefined Windows add event listener device motion motion handler that's just way above my head it really is you all uh, it's way 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 above my head I don't know what it's talking about other than I'm getting tracked with my fingerprints uh, and there's more tracking other than cookies that are out there cookies and history browsing history and sites you develop or go to oh there I was waiting to do that you all yeah when you just had a whistle on your land line yeah uh, oh Susan Donahue due to duplicate fingerprints in clones yeah I see yeah Zareth the alchemist yeah um, 
Yeah. Uh, hello, Astarte Ivy. Astarte Ivy. Yes, they do, you all. This gave me a hot flash, and I don't even want to think about my cell phone. It really is heavy. It's so much heavier than my um, my iPhone 8. I just want to sell. I just want to send it back. I really do. Yeah. That's okay. We are so special. We are very special. You all, if you did not know you're special, you are extremely special. You are of special interest to those uh, devices, those entities that want to track you extreme interest, whether you realize it or not. So, yeah, now you can go away here knowing just how loved you are and how special you are. You really can. Um, yeah, I apologize getting sidetracked on the Martians, uh, but I'm, I'm wondering what on earth are they talking about? about the Martians I really I really am I'm serious about that thinking did you really talk into the Martians and where are they are they somewhere on earth or in another dimension or who are they are they going by a different name yeah I love it um, yeah they can send a signal that's right um, that's okay you all we got to go um, so I'm going to go. Um, so with that being said, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Love you. Have a, a wonderful rest of your day. And I don't really like this subject. I don't. Not that much at all. Um, but I, I spoke about it just a little bit. Just a tad, tad bit. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Love you.